grand rising. We're going to see what does the collective need to be aware of regarding these karmic friends, family, lovers, all of the above. Remember, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not, all right? We have a Virgo that's involved in this. This could be you or a karmic. Somebody is feeling overwhelmed at this time. Wow. <laughs> they could have went through some type of home invasion and somebody's car got towed. We have here the letter G, somebody's first name, middle name, last name, or nickname starts with a letter G. We have a group, and we have a cancer. Uh, like I said, this could be a, a karmic cancer, or this is your sign, okay? B bottom of the deck, you winning, though. All right, so, wow. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? What else? That's a lot. Hold on. Tell me more. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you're winning because you're vibing from a high vibration. <clears throat> we have here a Capricorn could be in a hood near you. Stay woke or you could be this Capricorn. All right. So somebody could be, uh, we do see home invasion. So let's see, you know, let's see what, what is this about? Let's start clarifying what is in a hood near you. This could be someone that lives in a hood near you. Maybe somebody, you know, from your neighborhood uh from your area this could also be um you know somebody trying to pop up in your hood on some bullshit all right <laughs> so let's see all right holy spirit clarify in a hood near you please We have, wow, Carmisha, <laughs> okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse, all right, so let's see, tell me more about this Queen of Wands in the reverse, Holy Spirit, this is, it says here someone who's uh, angry, all right, we have aggression, jealousy, insecurities, all right, so this karmic is probably trying to pop up in somebody's hood on some bullshit, she's mad, all right, we have aggression, Tell me more. This could be also with the fire energy, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, karmic female. Doesn't have to be though. All right, look. So this, this in the bottom of the deck, this woman was trying to somehow defeat somebody. Okay, we have here there was some type of rivalry. All right, competition. All right, challenging and shit like that. But in the reverse, it's like, bitch, no. So now it looks like they wanna they wanna have some type of resolution here. But let's see what this is about. Yeah, because with this on uh, five of cups, you see. They're regretting, trying to come for you on some bullshit, all right? And what card is this? Wow. So for some of them, they're getting locked up or they're really feeling trapped right now, you know? Like, they don't know what else to do, all right? So there is a karmic that is going to try. All right, so let's see. What is what is this karmic? All right, because you could be whoever's watching, you know? This could be that maybe they're trying to get back into a relationship. If you are the divine masculine, she is trying to come back, all right? She could have been competing for you and she lost. And now she's going to try to come back in. But let me see. Who is this person planning to go towards, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I just saw the full card. The full card is definitely um, someone trying to take a leap of faith. All right, Holy Spirit. Who is this person planning to go towards? Okay. Yeah, they feel like they made a bad investment. All right. They missed an opportunity. Okay, so I feel like they're, they're planning to go towards the divine masculine or, you know, if this is a karmic masculine, he's going, he's going towards the, the, the divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. But they're going towards the person that they was competing for. Okay, they feel like they did not get to, and we have at the bottom of the deck, what do we have at the bottom? The queen of swords reverse. Yeah, this karmic. Okay, so this karmic energy is going towards... The person that they felt like they, uh, you know, was feeling, you know, like this person, they was feeling like they was being, feeling like rejected by this person. Okay. The divine masculine was rejecting this person and they feel like they wasted time. They wasted, you know, whatever resources, whatever they were trying to do, like to try to compete for someone when, you know, I'm sure the other person wasn't even completing. They just feel like it was a bad investment and it was a waste of time. And now they don't want to miss an opportunity. So they're going to try to come back to this person. All right. So this is more like a reconciliation. I thought it was, you know, some type of, 
you know, strap it up, you know, strap up because this bitch is coming through, you know, to honey and you trying to get it popping. No, what I'm seeing here, this is a reconciliation, all right? This is a karmic trying to get back with the uh, divine masculine or divine feminine lover. So spirit wants you to be aware, all right? They're feeling trapped. They feel like they don't have any other options, all right? Uh, they're just, you know, they're feeling defeated, all right? So now they're going to try to come back with their tail between their legs, saying sorry, you know, and spirit wants you to be aware of this, okay? Because this person is coming out as a liar, okay? Cold-hearted. This person doesn't really care. They're just trying to, you know, win for whatever selfish reason, all right? Because we have here, this is definitely someone who is selfish, Okay? So they're just trying to come back in for whatever selfish reason, all right? And this is the karmic, so that means stay away, all right? Okay, all right. So let's keep on it from here. Let's see what else we got. So somebody's car definitely got towed. That could be even what's going on with the karmic. Their car got towed. They're overwhelmed. There's a lot of bullshit going on, all right? Now they want to come back in so that you could come save the day. And spirit is like, no, stay away. I told you so. You warned this person. You warned somebody, okay? You uh, six six on the clock, okay? You warn somebody, you could be seeing 666, but that's just saying, like, you know, balance is being restored, all right? Again, don't give in to this karmic energy because then, you know, it's going to throw everything off balance, all right? But you could have told somebody, you know, that maybe that with the full moon, that there was a karmic doing full moon magic on them, all right? We have here someone who's currently in prison, okay? Maybe you told somebody that this karmic was dealing with somebody who's in prison, Maybe you told this person something about the full moon or they be doing full moon rituals or some shit. Yeah, I just saw incantations. All right, so you told somebody and now they're starting to realize that you was right, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? All right, we have the letter V. First name, middle name, last name, nickname. Take your half resonate, okay? We have here nine. So nine, this is um, uh, September. This is uh, Virgo, Libra, okay? They're having a temper tantrum. Okay, we have a Toyota Corolla, and we see that their car got towed. So somebody's car, they could be having a temper tantrum because their car got towed. You know, things are just not going their favor. They had a home invasion situation. Look, somebody, oh my God, the condom broke. So somebody kind of being pregnant right now. And things are just not going in their favor. Okay, let's see what else. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else does the collective need to be aware of? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Maybe this is meant to come out just like this because we have theft. You are testifying in court about someone who stole something from you. The letter J could be significant, but they're sacrificing turtles. Oh my goodness. All right. So these people, when they sacrifice turtles, it's because they're trying to delay the process. So someone knows that they're going to, to have to be going to court. And they know that you're going to be testifying or someone's going to be testifying against them for being a thief. Again, we I don't know. My throat chakra just acted up right now. So they didn't want me to say that. Uh, number six, again, keeps coming up. I just said 666, right? So what is that? June? Um, something could have happened in June. Um, somebody could be a Gemini or a Cancer. We do have Cancer here as well. And basically, they don't want this to happen. So they're, they're sacrificing turtles right now to delay the process uh, from happening, okay? They don't, want this shit, they don't want this shit to happen. So they're trying to delay it as much as they can, all right? You could be seeing black cats. Somebody could have a black cat, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. So they, that's what they're doing this for. They're trying to really slow it down because they know that they're going to have to face their karma. Yeah, this is a man doing this. This man knows that he's going to have to face his karma, but he's trying to slow it down. He's trying to delay it as much as he can. Yeah, look, and they're trying to de destroy evidence. Wow, y'all. So this is why they're trying to um to slow it down because they're trying to basically, you know, destroy evidence, trying to clean up, you know, everything before this uh this shit pops off. All right, tell me more. That's crazy. That could be why we have this home invasion shit. All right, we have a dodge. This, again, could be maybe they're trying to dodge this bullet, you know, trying to go on the run. All right, green eyes could be significant. Somebody could have green eyes. Again, the letter J, okay? Somebody uh, could be named green eyes. They, they, they call themselves that. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, look at this, y'all. We got got raided. And again, home invasion. Look at this. This, this is either happening now or it's about to happen. And they know that this is going to happen. That's why they're feeling overwhelmed right now. Because they know that this shit, no matter how many turtles you sacrifice, rest in peace to them turtles. 
<laughs> you know, let's have a moment of silence for them turtles. <laughs> um, they're going to get caught no matter what they do. All right. Like you cannot escape karma. We have a chef that is involved in this. All right. Let's see. Tell me more. It says here they got kicked out of the coven or kicked out of the group, organization, the secret society, whatever they was in, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, whatever the fuck, they got kicked out, all right? Uh, and it could be because they couldn't sacrifice you, they couldn't take you out, uh, they're becoming, you know, like a liability, they're becoming a problem to this group, all right? We have, look, committed fraud in your name, I'm telling you. So they probably thought that they was going to be able to have help with this uh, society and they're not. They're, they they basically, they exiled this person. They said, hey, you're on your own. We're going to sacrifice a few turtles for you to slow down the process. But after that, you're on your own. And this person is over here just sacrificing turtles, destroying evidence, panicking right now. Because they know that karma's coming. Karma's sneaking up on this person. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. And you told this person, look, if they're not saying a Gemini, confirmation. All right? Or, or if it's not a Gemini, they did something in Gemini season. And they're going to get caught up for that. All right. Gemini season is from is May, May to June. OK, ending of May to June. They did something. They're going to get caught up. All right. We saw they committed fraud in your name. All right. So definitely somebody's trying to run uh, from their karma. Look at that. They cannot run from this. And look, expect a call from jail, y'all. I'm telling you, they cannot run. They're going to end up getting caught up. And Spirit is saying, they're going to call you. <laughs> they're going to call you. Listen, I don't know what they're going to call you for. But Spirit is saying, be aware. All right. They were trying to do domination spells, trying to dominate the situation, trying to control the situation. You know, again, trying to slow it down, trying to play God in, in this situation. It ain't happening. All right. This person, they probably was skeptical. They thought that they, they thought they were going to get away with this. And look, mm -mm, it ain't happening. All right. So let's see. Yeah. They manifested their nightmare playing with turtles and doing crazy shit. That's what they did. They manifested their nightmare. Tell me more. So you told this person, yeah, look, and they paid a hitman to do something. This could be a spiritual hitman to do some type of voodoo on you or somebody was actually physically following you trying to do something, all right? But it ain't happened. Epic fail. This person was being watched by the FBI, the DEA, the CIA. Everybody was watching this person. What's this? Somebody's going to end up at the ICU, at the hospital, or they already did. So uh, maybe somebody got in an accident or somebody's going to get in an accident. Last night, this could have happened. Wow. Tell me more. We have here the monkey. So these years could be significant for somebody. You could have been born in one of these years or somebody could have been born in one of these years. All right, so this is probably why the car got towed. Maybe because they got in an accident. They're in the ICU or this is something that's going to happen. All right, to a karmic couple. Y'all, do y'all see my goosebumps right now? Let me show y'all can see that. Like, when I get the goosebumps, it's like a lot of confirmation. Y'all see how my hair is standing up right now? Like, yo, wow. All right, and it says here they was attacking your business. They was attacking your money, okay? um, What is this? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, more Gemini energy could be significant. All right. They was attacking and they was doing this recklessly with this net of swords in the reverse. Like they was not thinking about their actions. They was just doing a bunch of spells, a bunch of bullshit. And all this shit is going back in many different forms. All right. Let's see what else at the bottom. Poison. They could have been trying to poison you. They could have been trying to push it in your food and your drinks. Tell me more. Everything that they're doing is just basically not, it's not, it's not happening. Yeah, look, <laughs> Rico charge, y'all. So we have here, uh, racketeer influence, corrupt organization, 30 plus years, racketeering, organized, organized crime. Okay. These people are getting caught up for this. Like I said, they got kicked out of some type of organization because they're being, they're being, you know, they're too hot. You know, they, they, they bring in too much drama to this society or whatever this is. And look, the karmic is tapping their phone. This could be that the CIA, DEA, FBI is tapping their phone because these people are being watched. And then this home invasion, this is happening or it's going to happen. Again, they're getting raided. It's happening. And you warned this person. You told them so. You told them stop playing with all this shit, whatever they doing, stay away from this group. Whatever you told them, you warned somebody. All right? If they were stealing from you, you told them it was going to happen. 
Yeah, just so watch the company you keep. Exactly. You could have told somebody exactly those words. Look at it right here. Confirmation. You could have told somebody, watch the company that you keep. These people about to get you caught up in some bullshit. And they didn't listen. You also could have told somebody um, the, about the voodoo, you know, and they didn't listen. You know, I've I, I been resonating with that. I've been trying to tell people because, you know, us as divine beings, we could see. A lot of us see through the illusions. We see through the veil. We see what people are doing. And we try to warn people, you know. So this is a lesson for, for, for y'all who are listening, who are trying to help people and trying to tell them, like, yo, this is what's going on. You try to warn somebody and they don't, they don't believe you, you know. They're skeptical, whatever. It's because... They have to go through it. You know, they have to learn. Just like how we needed to go through situations. We was hard-headed at, at one point. I know I was. I'm a Taurus. I know that's usually a hard-headed sign, right? And I was definitely hard-headed. I had to go through shit. I needed to learn through it. So, you know, whoever you're trying to tell these things to and they're not listening, it's because they need to learn from it, all right? So don't take it personal, all right? More confirmation. I know y'all see it this time. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Like, <laughs> this is the chills, all right? When I get the chills like that, it's confirmation. All right, so somebody got a limp dingling, all right? They, they could have been doing voodoo, you know, maybe masturbating to your pictures or something. We've been picking up on that energy, and this is what's going to happen to them now. This could be also that a karmic was doing a love spell. That came out before. Doing a love spell on a divine masculine, and now his dingling is limp because he cannot get hard for her no more. She was only able to get him hard for her because she was doing illusion spells and beauty spells and all of the bullshit. It says here, they will set him up. Oh, my God. You see? Confirmation. They will set him up and get him in trouble with the law if he tries to leave. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even see this until now. I'm like, I'm, now I'm reading what it says. Confirmation that this person has a limp dingling and they are not feeling this karmic energy any longer. They're turned off. All right. This is what's supposed to happen, though. Somebody's awakening. All right. Look, five of swords. This is, again, going back to the karmisha that we picked up on earlier. That she uh, was trying to defeat you that was competing with you, Divine Feminine. And you're not even competing with anybody, all right? And she got defeated because she couldn't, uh, you know, keep the, the spells on this person, all right? So now, since the voodoo is not working, this person is now slowly but surely awakening from the spells. They're awakening, they are seen, they're seen through the illusions, and they're not even getting hard anymore because they're starting to see the karmic for who they truly are. This karmic probably also has like a, a very dark aura, a smell of like death and destruction around them. So this person is awakening to these things because before there was clouded they had a clouded intuition they had illusions over them they thought the karmic was a bad bitch or whatever because she was doing all them damn spells so now he's awakening he's not getting hard and she's mad all right the letter r first name middle name last name is significant all right she's mad and she's about to try to get him set up and try to get him caught up yup ten of swords rock bottom all right this could also be jail I'm trying to defeat now this person so she's gonna try yeah look watch the company you keep this is the lesson that the divine masculine or the right feminine, like I said, flip it, is learning <laughs> with this karmic. All right? So, basically, now she's going to try to get somebody locked up. All right? That's why we see that the karmic is in a hood near you trying to come to somebody. All right? Trying to come to this lover that doesn't want to be with them any longer. Okay? Then we got another story here about a karmic over here doing sacrifices on turtles because they're going to get locked up. That's what I'm saying. Take what resonates. There's a lot of different karmic energies that we're picking up on right now. Okay? Let's see. <clears throat> Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Their phone is tapped. Again, confirmation that the FBI, the CIA, the DEA, everybody's listening to these garments and they're watching them. Everything that they do, you know, they're on it. Okay? So, they could, they could be aware that somebody's trying to get married for papers. Yeah, look, strategizing to try to get married for some type of papers, all right, for stability. That's what this karmic was trying to do. This karmic was trying to get into a marriage to lock in this divine masculine, all right? And that's not happening, <laughs> okay? Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. A karmic marriage. You see what I'm saying? That's a karmic marriage right there. It's not a marriage made out of love. It's made out of survival you know this karmic is trying to survive trying to hold on to this masculine because they got an inheritance they got some type of stability money whatever all right and like it says here she's gonna try to get this person locked up if they try to leave the karmic got sent back to her state <laughs> yo that's funny all right so this was gonna end up happening she's gonna end up having for the the karmic that lives in another state you know like for example 
like I'm in Florida, let's say, you know, she's in Florida and she got to go back to her state, you know, Oklahoma, Cincinnati, I don't know what I'm saying, Matt Ryan and shit, New York, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, like, she's going back wherever she came from, basically, that's going to be her, her karma, all right, she could have been trying to get this person locked up and this person's not going to, it's not going to go down, you know, like this person, if this is a divine masculine or divine feminine, they are going to be free. That is going to protect this person to go ahead and walk away from this damn karmic. So it's not going to work. And as we see here, they're going to get sent back to their state. All right. That's why they're trying now, how we see here, trying to come back. All right. So we have here, somebody could be living out of a motel. This could be the karmic right now. This could also be, um, the, you know, you, you could be living out of a motel, divine masculine, divine feminine. You could be right now just... Trying to like, you know, get your shit together and get away from this karmic. Maybe you needed to go stay at a hotel or something. Okay. Or maybe that's what you need to do. All right. We have the the car Ford. Okay. And we have the number nine. Again, nine, September. Right, right now, you need to go do that. You know, stay away from this karmic. All right. They have a terminal illness. All right. Or somebody has a terminal illness. Spirit is telling you to stay away from them. Tell me more. Look, the car is going to get pulled over or already did. Again, we got a Ford, a Dodge, a Corolla. All right, somebody's getting demoted from work. That's their karma for doing some type of voodoo on you. We saw that they was attacking your business. Yeah, so they're going to get demoted in whatever it is that they do. All right, they mad that you got a business, that you are, you know, self-sufficient. You know, they mad, you know, and now they're going to get karma. All right, that house is yours. Whatever they was doing. Whatever bibbity bobbing they was doing, trying to, you know, keep you from having your house. They took you off the will. Whatever they was doing, it's yours and you're getting it back, all right? You're going to court and you're going to win this house, all right? They got blocked, exactly. Whatever they was doing, whatever voodoo they was doing, trying to block you from getting what you deserve is getting blocked. It was all a test of your faith. Look at that. You cannot make this up. Spirit is saying it was all a test of your faith. Everything that they're doing is getting blocked because all of this was just for you to serve them karma and at the same time, testing your faith. Okay, you have to keep moving forward. You have to be patient. You have to keep trusting and walking by faith, not by sight, right? And that's what you did. And now you're getting everything that you deserve. Okay, all right. So you just gotta keep being patient. All right, it's happening. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. And it is happening because a lot of y'all sending me a lot of, you know, confirmations and shit like that. Again, we got R, first name, middle name, last name, best friend. Somebody's best friend is involved in this. Tell me more. There's going to be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing. Rest in peace. So somebody going to be passing away. Somebody knows that this is happening. They're mentally conflicted right now because they know somebody's going to pass away. Tell me more. I mean, that they know that they was doing maybe some type of, yeah, look, the sexy demon knows this. They was doing some type of, um... Death magic and it's going back. What is this? Karmic's what? The karmic's friends are starting to see the truth about the situation. That this is a sexy demon. All right. Look, best friend. The karmic's best friend is starting to see the truth. That this is a karmic. You know, maybe this karmic was lying about you and the whole situation. And now they're starting to see the truth. All right. Somebody could be an Uber driver or something's going on with an Uber. Tell me more. Let's see what's this. Um, the karmic lie to people. You see what I'm saying? Yo, that's exactly what I was getting from this. This karmic told their best friend or they told their friends or they told, you know, their group, their coven, their friends, whatever the fuck. They lied and they said that you do spells. And this person is now or this group is now seeing the truth of who you are. That you do not do no damn voodoo and none of that bullshit. Especially if you are divine feminine, divine masculine, you are not into that. We don't do this type of shit. We are the complete opposite of this. We are divine beings, okay? We work with, with God and the Holy Spirit. So people are starting to see the truth, all right, about this shit. Yeah, look, because they're seeing that you are immune to these attacks. They're like, yo, this person is protected. Like, who the fuck is protecting this person? They gotta be God. Like, who else? You know what I'm saying? Like, this coven is attacking you. They're not understanding why it's not working. And now they're realizing, like, oh, shit, this person is protected. This is somebody who's really working with God, all right? Like, they had to, again, going back to the beginning of when I, when I said being stubborn. These are people who were stubborn as fuck. <laughs> so now they're realizing the truth. You know, after attacking you a couple hundred times... And now they're like, okay, 
we got to kick this person out the group because they are attacking someone who's a divine being and we don't want no karma. Like this is some ultimate karma that's going to happen to us. We see that somebody's going to end up passing away and we don't want it to be us. Okay. That's exactly what's going on here. <laughs> now they're seeing the truth of who you are. Confirmation. All right. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Somebody. Whoa. Okay. All right. Somebody could be trying to come to you. Playing the victim, a sex scene. Yeah, but they're just trying to use you for money and shelter. All right. Look, they got a side dude. It's not working. The police is watching them. Or a side dude could be wearing a wire and is working with the police. We picked up um, that message that I posted yesterday. When was it? Yesterday or the day before yesterday that I posted that it was um, a post that popped up on my TikTok and it was confirmation talking about. A woman, I forgot who she was talking about. Somebody being an informant, though. That was the message. All right? And that's what I'm getting here. Like, confirmation, somebody could be wearing a wire. They are an informant. And the 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 the, the, the cousin, the karmic group, whatever, the family, they don't know that this person is working with the feds. All right? Somebody could be going to rehab or they need to. All right? And somebody's walking away from this whole situation. Okay? Let's see. We have here... This um this person is going to be struggling. Wait, we have more cards that fell. Wow, we have here this death is under investigation. So there is going to be a death here. And people are going to have to, you know, face their karma. All right, we see somebody's trying to run from something. All right, we have here the blood test says she's not prego, she lied. All right, this could be, again, this damn karmic over here trying to come back, telling people that she's pregnant. And in reality, she's lying. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because somebody's trying to release this person. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. So stay, stay aware, okay? And stay away from this karmic. She's not pregnant. She's lying. Don't believe none of the bullshit. Don't believe the hype. Exactly. She's just pocket watching, okay? And for some of y'all, this is a masculine who's a karmic, and he is a sex worker. He's for the streets. He probably got something. We have here that somebody got a terminal illness. All right? Stay away from this person, Okay? All right, let's see what else. Let's pull from here and see what else we got. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? Okay, we have here. These months are significant. Oh, these months. These states are significant. And it's funny because I said Florida earlier. And look, we have here Florida, Georgia, Delaware, or Hawaii. Somebody could be from here. They're going over here or something. All right. They're drinking to cope right now because shit ain't working the way that they wanted it to. All right. This is somebody that is possessed. All right. This karmic. They have a demonic attachment. All right. And we have here swingers are significant. And then we have a gigolo. So it's like this person could be a swinger. Okay. Spirit is saying stay away from this person. They have a demonic attachment and they have some type of STD. They are infected. Okay. <laughs> stay away from this person. <laughs> Let's see what else. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, these years could be significant for someone. You could be born in one of these years or something happened in one of these years. Let me see what else. Okay, we have here, yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's going to try to go on the run. <laughs> and they cannot run from their karma. It's over. All right? It could be a male family member of yours. And what else? We have here, they left food at your house for you. Okay? That's what I'm saying. That somebody could have been leaving food um, or, or drinks or something like that with poison in it. All right? I don't know where the poison card is at. All right, but yeah, you, they could have been trying to poison you. Confirmation, all right? It says here, your family made false CPA, CPS claims on you, all right? I don't know. These people want some bullshit, all right? They just want to get you caught up in some bullshit. That's what I'm getting, like, false CPS claims? Yeah, all this shit is going back to them. Tell me more.
they manipulated and lied to others to convince them to work against you okay more confirmation okay this could be your own family this could be a karmic whatever we see that the karmic's friends are starting to see the truth about who you are so yeah they lied we already saw from the beginning that they lied they were telling people that you do voodoo and other dumb shit and it's not true all right so the truth is being revealed now people are, are also awakening from this karmic spells because we see she was doing spells on this masculine and now she's doing spells on on those people she could have been doing illusion spells on them as well all right everybody's awakening now tell me more they put your name and photo on their altar to do spells okay all of them did this and now they're all going to be getting karma for that it don't matter if they know or, or or they didn't know who you are they're going to pay for that yeah look she had all these people working together monitoring you for black magic he or she like i said flip it however you need to but there was a karmic out here doing too damn much all right you could be born in one of these years or something happened in one of these years and we have, look, planning to go on the run. I'm telling you, double confirmation. We just saw another card that said that they're going on the run, wherever it is. All right? And then we have here, DNA results, it's his. So we usually get that it's not his. We have here that it's his. So that could be why this person is also going on the run. All right? We picked up the other day that there was um there was a, a masculine that got a younger, unfortunately, got a younger woman, a younger girl pregnant. Okay? And... This could be why you now they want to run from all this bullshit. Like, they got a young girl pregnant. They know they're going to get locked up for that. And they want to go on the run now because they also got other shit going on here as well. That's what we have here. They're feeling overwhelmed. And listen, they cannot run, okay? We have green, a green vehicle. We picked up green eyes earlier, okay? Green, they could be green with envy, you know, envying you. And now, look, they're going to have to pay for all the bullshit that they was doing behind the scenes trying to... Trying to end you, calling a CPS on you and all this other weird shit that they was doing. People want some weird shit. Everything that they was doing, they paying for it. They can have a green car. Tell me more. Yeah, they bit the bait, exactly. So we're saying, don't even stress it. You are the, these people's karma. You was the bait. God put you in their life for a reason. These lovers, friends, karmics, these family members, whatever. And they bit the bait. They attacked you. They tried to steal from you. They were disloyal to you. They betrayed you. You are their karma. All right? Don't take it personal. Yeah, they try to force shit. They try to control your life like if they was God. They're going to pay for that. All right? We have here buying or selling a property. Okay? Somebody could be buying or selling a property. Tell me more. Okay, we have, again, more, more energy of somebody trying to run. Okay, but we have here somebody who got trust issues and they need to heal. They are a runner. Okay, they're about to get locked up. Again, this energy who's a karmic. That's a karmic energy when they need to heal. Your own sister did black magic on you. So look, your sister getting locked up. We saw a family here. Okay, life card number seven. All right, you could be life card number seven. You could be born on the seventh, seventh month, seventh day. All right, and look, trying to get you locked up, false claims. I'm telling you, false claims, CPS claims for y'all who have kids, and then false claims trying to get you locked up. The karmic we already have here, karmic was gonna try to get somebody locked up, but they try to walk away. Like these people are really bored with their life. Like, <laughs> look at that sudden, sudden wealth. Somebody wanted this lump sum of money that this masculine or this feminine was gonna get. This karmic wanted in on that. Tell me more. And the masculine sees the truth now about everything. All right. He also sees that there was a baby that was made through sex magic. It could be again this baby right here that uh a karmic masculine or whatever got locked got well he's about to get locked up, but he got caught up with. All right. And it could be that this baby was made through sex magic. This karmic was again doing voodoo on this person, you know, illusion spells and all that other bullshit. You know, you cannot make this up. Trying to trap you and look. Baby and spell work, okay? So somebody definitely is seeing the truth that there was a karmic trying to trap somebody with voodoo, all right? Doing magic spells, you know, on their ding -a -ling. We already see that the, the ding -a -ling is going limp, okay? And doing illusion spells so that they could see them in a different light and see them attractively. And, you know, they're just not their type. Yeah, look, pretending to be what they want. And it's like, no, you're not what I want, ho. All right, they're awakening from this. All right, and look, somebody's going to be passing away. More confirmation. We got two cards already talking about a funeral. Uh, you know, somebody passing away. And <laughs> listen, that's why people should not be playing with none of this voodoo shit. All right, tell me more.
They defeated themselves. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> they defeated themselves. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, as you can see, they defeated themselves. Everything. Like I said earlier, you are their, their karma. Look at that. Again, something about a settlement. All right, settlement, unexpected money, a lump sum of money is coming for you. Okay, if you are in court, you're going to get this shit. All right, for some of y'all, it could be maybe in, in another way. We have work friends. Maybe for some of y'all, it's coming in in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a work related way. All right, somebody fails a lie detector test or they're going to. They're traumatized. Somebody's traumatized. Somebody's aunt or uncle is significant who has a blue car and they did something in the winter or somebody could be born in the winter. All right, let's see. All right, they got a blue car and they are going to fail a lie detector test. And you're going to get some type of money, infidelity, and alcoholism. And then somebody's uh, brother's, you know, karmic girlfriend or karmic baby mama, whatever the fuck is in the picture. Tell me more. So alcoholism is, again, somebody drinking to cope right now because they know that they're about to pay for all the bullshit that they have been doing. All right, a transsexual could have been pretending, okay, or is involved in this. Trying to kill your will to move forward. They were trying to kill your, your will to move forward. They wanted to block you from moving forward. So, yeah, this was a secret hater. <laughs> wow. It could be your own aunt and uncle, all right? Let's see. We have here business fraud. They could have done business fraud. Somebody was born in the 90s. We have a divorce attorney. We have here, they're going to have a, a sickness or, or, or illness. We picked up on that earlier too. That they're going to pass away from an illness. And Wow. Double confirmation. What? So it could be something maybe going on with their, their mental stability. Like, you know, they're going to end up, we picked up, a, they was going to end up at a rehab. We, we got a rehab right here too. You know, in a, in a loony bin or something. Because this person was secretly hating on you. And if it was family, they could have been doing this shit for years and you didn't even know. Did I pull these cards already? Yeah, people that's in your family. See what I'm saying? People that are in your family that they was doing this shit. All right, we have the masculine moved out. So again, he could be staying in a hotel, getting away from this damn karmic. Somebody's bisexual. Somebody got box braids or they wear box braids a lot. We have a karmic contract with Carmelo. All right, it's broken. It's over. All right, this person is a drug user. Again, we have here Alki. So somebody's definitely drinking a lot to cope. Yeah, this is what they're drinking for. They did some type of death magic and they know that it's going back. And it's not going to go back to you. It's not going to you. It's going back to whoever the fuck did it. All right? Look at it right here. Confirmation. You got your, somebody's sister that's stressing right now. The karmic. Okay? The secret hater. All right? And it's going back. All right? Let's see. What else? Yeah, because they defeated themselves. All right? Yeah, crime family, y'all. Like, what? Again, passing away. And then we got crime family. We see something about a cult family. Your family, you know, they was in a cult. We saw a secret organization. We saw, um, you know, they, for some of y'all could be the Masons or some bullshit or whatever. But listen, they was on some shit and they going down. Exactly. You are their karma. All right. Somebody could have been torn between the two, between two, two something. And they are walking away. They're, they're making their decision. All right. They walked away from a karmic and this karmic is mad. Okay. The karmic could be fighting for the ground, like everything's all good and dandy, but in reality, they're getting defeated, you know? They're scared, they know that there's a death that's going to happen, and they don't know what to do. All right, yeah, they're stalking the ex. They know that the ex is walking away. Tell me more. Yeah, I just saw turned off. They know this person is turned off. Yeah, look, and I'm telling you, they're going to try to come towards you. Yeah, because they regret what they have done. I'm telling you. This karmic is going to try to get, we saw from the beginning, try to play the victim to try to come back into this person's life. Tell me more. Yeah, but they was trying to kill your, your will of moving forward. They wanted to keep you stuck. They didn't want you to move forward. They wanted you to stay in a karmic cycle. And now they're seeing that you're still walking away and they're not getting their way with nothing. Everything is right now crumbling for them. And they're going to try to come back trying to play the victim. Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. <laughs> All right? A karmic partner. See what I'm saying? This karmic. They're going to try to come back with the bullshit. 
playing the victim. For some of y'all, this person who's losing sleep is in the army, in the navy, or in the marines. Take it how it resonates. Tell me more. Yeah, they got karmics everywhere. They got them even even working, you know, in the navy and all that shit. All right, we got karmics that work out of school. All right, <laughs> all right. Somebody works out of school and look, underage male. Look at that. I'm telling you, there was something about some pedo pedo shit. All right, I don't know. That could be that. That came out in the last reading. An underage male and somebody that works out of school. Tell me more. Your uncle's wife could be significant because we have here an aunt and an uncle. All right, uh, again, I wrote this card because I have a brother who has a dusty, ugly hoe. All right, I'm not giving her no more shout outs. We already, we already acknowledge you enough, bitch. All right, but this is saying that there's a karmic. You're, you could have a brother who has a karmic, a karmic girlfriend, okay? And something's happening with this bitch. Maybe there's a situation going on with a legal situation. All right, tell me more. Tracking device on, on somebody's vehicle, all right? This is somebody stalking a karmic. We have here that they're stalking. A karmic is stalking somebody. So maybe they have a tracking device on your vehicle. Be aware. All right, let me see what's this. Um, The letter F. Okay, somebody's first name, middle name, last name has an F in it. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Then I'm going to close it out. Okay, they was doing some type of scam. Yeah, they in too deep now doing money schemes. They know that they're going to get caught up. They know they're going to do jail time. Okay, and this is somebody that they was in a mentally, physically, and spiritually abusive relationship with. All right, so they know they're going to get caught up. Yeah, confirmation right here. Legal situation. Whatever scamming they was doing, they're going to pay for this shit. All right? You can't run from your karma. They having major regrets. And they mad that whatever they was trying to send your way, it ain't happening. It's going right back to them and theirs. Okay? Again, they defeated themselves. Okay? Tell me more. A legal immigrant, illegal immigrant could be significant and marriage counseling. Again, there's a karmic. Somebody was trying to get locked. Why do I keep saying locked up? Somebody going to get locked up. <laughs> Somebody was trying to get into a marriage with someone for papers, okay? It could be someone here who is uh, an illegal immigrant, all right? It ain't happening. We have here divorce attorney. There's a divorce happening, okay? So that's what I got here, y'all. I hope I was able to help. Stay woke.